Our headline stories this hour, a French journalist attempts to reveal what it's really like in a Paris suburb thought to be a radicalization breeding ground, but gets into a brawl with local Muslims. Washington starts to build a new drone base in the West African country of Niger, with previously secret documents showing the cost will be as high as $100 million. And as the Syrian conflict escalates and the U.S. accuses Damascus and Moscow of causing civilian casualties, Syria's U.N. ambassador talks exclusively to RT about the allegations. Wherever you're tuning in from around the world this hour, welcome to Moscow and to RT International. My name's Yunan O'Neill. Good to have your company. Our top story, a French journalist recently found himself in an intense situation while trying to film in a neighbourhood regarded as a hotbed of radicalisation in France. He managed to get into an argument with local Muslims and was then physically assaulted. Well, it happened in an area called Sevron, a commune in the suburbs of northeastern Paris. It's become known for Islamist recruitment in France after it was revealed that more than a dozen young men left the town to join ISIL in the past two years. Most attended what locals call the Daesh Mosque, an informal prayer hall which has since closed. RT spoke to the mother of one recruit in April when the story emerged. My son is one of many Europeans who left their countries to join the caliphate for reasons I cannot explain. We had a mosque. In fact, it was the prayer hall which we call the Daesh Mosque. It wasn't authorized and it is closed now. Since 2014, our mayor knew that this prayer hall was dangerous. But he failed to close it back then and never informed us. Well, the journalist who was attacked did manage to finish his documentary on radical Islam in France. His stated aim was to draw attention to the problems the neighborhood faced. But that didn't go down well with the mayor of Sevron, who accused the journalist of fueling radicalization. Bernard de la Villardière, with his new taboo dossier, tries to attract an audience by using the town of Sevran and pours oil on the flames amid the ongoing war against jihadism. Well, the documentary received mixed reaction online. Some praised the creator as the pride of his profession, congratulating him for his investigation. But others accused the journalist of stirring up hatred and dividing instead of uniting. I think Mr. de la Villadière has been very courageous in showing the reality of what's going on in France and what's going on in certain neighborhoods. And that might, yes, that might disrupt certain people. Their little comfort zone is, is, is they have to come out of their comfort zone. It's, it's not the reality they want to see. Yes, in Sevran, we face some problem of radicalization. There is some guys from Sevran who went in Syria and get radicalized. But it doesn't mean that the, all the area is like this, or all the uh, people living in Sevran are like this. And uh, going there uh, in order to bring up another subject on Islam, it's, it, it can be considered also as provocative for them. And uh, then they, 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 they have a natural reaction due to some uh, uh, increasing tension. I don't think it's fair to call him provocative. I understand uh, in, the, in the current climate, um, uh, this is a very controversial subject. But it is definitely not provocative. It is. It is. It comes. I think for many people, as a bit of a shock to see this reality. We are talking about two different things. We have Muslims in France that are totally integrated, and we have a radical Islam in France. And this radical Islam in France is getting stronger and stronger, and it ha has footholds in many neighborhoods. And I was absolutely appalled by some of the. Um, imams that are allowed to preach in France. I was very surprised by the language they use and by the statements they make. And these imams should be expelled immediately. So I think, yes, that many people who have seen this will, will definitely become more aware of how this radical Islam has actually taken over in some of our cities. Investigation work is a police officer work. So let the police officer do their job. And as a media, we should try to educate, we should try to tell people what is happening, but with 
in a proper time and in a proper way of showing it.